Yo, what is poppin' my kings and queens and welcome to today's video. Today we are making a tier list on the best jungle champions to main in League of Legends Season 11. Super excited to get into this and just before I do get into this guys, I do realize that this sort of topic can be very controversial and people will disagree all the time, but please just try your best to you know not get super offended if i say something that you might not agree with that's destined to happen no matter who you are at least for one of these champions because there are many i will say that i am a diamond consistently diamond league of legends jungle main i've played every single jungle in the game multiple times and i could probably play any single jungler in this game at a diamond level so take what i say you know and just you know realize that hey you know like i do have quite a bit of experience with these champions so as a general rule of thumb, I'll have a pretty strong, you know, fundamental understanding of each champion and which ones I think are the best to main. For you guys, if you guys are looking to pick up something that you think you want to climb with, this could be very helpful for you. So, let's get right on into this. We are going to be starting with Amumu. Now, Amumu is a champion that is very, very basic at his core. His kit is extremely simple, and for that reason, I do not think he is a good champion to one-trick. Generally, when you want to one-trick a champion, you want to completely master them, and I think that scales with difficulty. You know, mastering an easy champion is really easy, so it's kind of useless to main a champion like Amumu. He's super telegraphed. You can see what's coming to you very easily with this champion. All he has is a bandage toss, which you could very easily dodge, assuming you have decent reaction time. So I'm going to put this guy in the bad main nubs only tier. I do not think that Amumu is a champion. Anybody should be one-tricking if their goal is to get really good and climb the elo ladder. Next up, Brand. This one's a little funny. Uh, I'm going to say he's like a C tier. He's kind of stinky. You know, he's not really a great jungler, but I do see him some Brand jungle players. They do exist, believe it or not. I actually had a friend who climbed to Diamond playing Brand jungle only. Very, very interesting stuff. I wouldn't say... I'd say he's definitely above a Mumu when you're thinking about one trick in a champion, but he's not quite there. Now, Camille, I'm also going to say bad because she's just not a good jungler her clear is bad her ganks are good but it's just hard to get it off there's champions that do that way better than her if if this was top lane it'd be a different story i would say to camille's like an a tier pick chogath once again very very similar to amumu the one thing i will say about chogath though is that there are chogath one tricks who can climb i would say it's much better for top lane but he can be played in the jungle as well darius also just bleh don't really bother with this champion, guys. He's just not really good in the jungle. I see a lot of players who, after the buffs, try to pick him up and play him, but it's just not a good idea. Now we got Diana. Now, Diana's pretty interesting. Her kit is pretty simple, but she is a very good jungler. So I do think there is some merit to maining this champion. I'm not going to say she's going to be an S or A tier, but she is a definite B tier, just for the sole fact that you can definitely climb with this champion. There are definitely some very high elo Diana jungle one tricks and Diana mains out there. So I do think it is a awesome pick. Now, Echo's very interesting. He's going to be either A tier or B tier. I'm going to say A tier just because Echo does have some complexities to his kit. And if you become really strong at this champion, you can do very, very well. Uh, he's not primarily a jungler. He's primarily a mid laner, but he can be played in the jungle to great effect. Next up is Elise. And I'm going to say Elise is like kind of like medium difficulty. She does have some hard parts to her kit, like managing between her spider form and human form and knowing when to use your abilities. Uh, and she is very, very good. She's a strong jungler. I'm going to put her as an A tier as well. I don't think she's quite that S tier, but she's definitely pretty strong. Next up here is Evelyn, and guys, I'm going to have to say Evelyn is an S tier to one trick. There are so many high ranking Evelyn mains, guys, and Evelyn one tricks at high elos are so scary, man. And she is so good at lower ranks when players don't know how to punish you. You could farm up, get a huge lead, a huge advantage, and just start smurfing on your opponents. Really fun to play. Fiddlesticks. Now, Fiddlesticks is another one of these picks. I I'm really tied between S tier and A tier. Fiddle one tricks are so scary, man. I have to put him S tier. Fiddle one tricks, solo carry games, so much. In diamond games, I'll go against the fiddle six guys, and I consider dodging almost every single time. Just because this champion, when you're against him and he gets a lead, it's almost impossible to go to objectives anymore. He'll just set up his scarecrows, clear out all vision, and make it impossible for you to walk in there without just getting absolutely smurfed on. Really, really hard to play against. Gragas, uh, he's a very, very basic, simple kit. I'm going to put him next to Diana. I think he's very, very similar to Diana in the sense that, like, he does have some, like, slightly advanced mechanics, but he is definitely on the easier side of junglers to play. Uh, you, I'm not saying that you can't get very, very good with this champion, guys. You can definitely play at very high levels of gameplay, but when we're looking at a pure one-tricking perspective, I mean, Gregus is not the champion you're thinking of, really. He's not really that type of pick. Graves. Um, 
Graves is awesome. Personally, I love watching Tarzan play Graves. He's such a good Graves player. I'm going to put Gra uh, Graves as an A tier one trick. I don't think he's quite S tier because he is quite simple as well, but there are a lot of different things you can do with Graves. There's a lot of different rune options. There's a lot of different, you know, builds you could go on him, and you can definitely tell the difference between a very good Graves player and a very shit one. Um, he, you do, it requires good kiting, good usage of your abilities, uh, and just knowing when to go in and when not to go in. That's a really big part of him, and I think that one tricks, they do this very, very well, and they just, it feels like you can't breathe against this champion. Now, Hecarim. Definitely think he's along the same wavelength as Gragas and Diana. You know, I can't, like, Hecarim one tricks are, you know, kind of scary, but I do think Hecarim is very simple to play, and anyone can play this champion for, like, 10 games and, like, just completely get the hang of him at a higher rank, and you can't really tell the difference between, say, like, you know, a Diamond 2 Hecarim who's been maining him and a Diamond 2 Hecarim who's, like, you know, just played 15 games on him. You just literally can't tell the difference. There's so little skill expression with the champion, uh, so I will say that. Ivern. He's very, very interesting. I'm going to say Ivern's an A tier. I'm really considering putting him S tier, but I think he's an A tier. Because um, when you look at Ivern's kit, it's pretty simple, but he does have some advanced mechanics within his kit. You can cheese and do certain things that only really Ivern mains would know how to do. And I think the more knowledge you gather of this champion, the more things you're going to get away with in a game. So I'm going to say that he's a very good champion to one-trick if you guys are looking to one-trick a champion in the jungle. The Ivern's main community is also pretty popping. I love you guys. Uh, Jarvin, hmm... Jarvin's really bad right now. I wish he was in a better spot. I I'm really, like, torn between B and C tier. I'm just going to put C tier. I just don't think he's a fantastic champion right now. He could very well move up to a B tier if he's just a better pick, and then he's, like, better to one trick, but I just never see people play this champion anymore. He has such a low pick rate, and his win rate's pretty bad, too, so, yeah, I'm just going to keep him there. Jax. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say bad he's just not really a jungler so we'll put him there now karthus this one's very interesting guys um i really love this champion i think karthus is incredibly fun he's not super sophisticated to play i think like anybody if they play enough with him they could get good with him i think it takes a little bit longer than most champions though but when a karthus player is very very strong it's very apparent like he's just walking up on you he's hitting every single q and it just feels so hard to play against I don't think he's quite S tier, but he's a definite A tier one trick. Kane. I'm going to put Kane as an S tier. Okay. So the reason why I'm putting Kane as S tier is because, like, the difference between, you know, a new Kane and a good Kane is, like, night and day. Like, you look at people like Charismai and other Kane one tricks that are very high rank, and man, does it feel hard to play against them. You never know whether they're going red or blue, and you just never know what to expect in the game. They just know how to one-shot you. They know how to stay alive for very long periods of time. They feel so hard and possible to kill. It's just, it's a rough, rough go. Kazix, oh man. So I personally, guys, the first time that I hit Diamond, I one-tricked Kazix. I have to put my boy in S tier. I think there's so many different mechanics on Kazix that you need to master before you can play him to his maximum effect. I wouldn't say he's, like, super difficult to learn, guys. I think he's a very amazing champion for pretty much anyone to one-trick if they're looking to climb. Uh, but I will say that there is some complexities within his kit. Learning when to evolve what during what games, knowing how to like do certain animation cancels, uh, knowing th just certain things about his kit is very important in order to become like a baller Kazakh player. So I'm going to put him as S tier. Definitely not um, the easiest champion to play. And when you do one trick him and you get very good at him, super rewarding to play, guys. Uh, now, Kindred. I think Kindred's a solid A tier. Uh, Kindred's one of those champions where, like, her attack range isn't super, super high in the earlier stages of the game, so you really know how, you really need to know how to kite back and forth and use your Qs optimally, because if you take one wrong Q in the wrong direction, you'll pay for it with your life. You also need to know how to play against certain matchups like Lee Sin and, you know, Set and these different guys who can really bully you and push you out of your ultimate. I would say, though, once you do get the hang of this, she is super rewarding to play. Once you know how to get your marks very consistently, she's awesome to play. But it does take some time and some one-tricking to do. But once you get her down, you can climb so quick. Now, Lee Sin, this should come as no surprise, guys. Fucking good Lee Sin players are the hardest thing to play against. They're so unpredictable. They just feel impossible to kill. They do so much damage while being so tanky. And man, Lee Sin is just such a fun champion to play. Personally, I love him. I am so good at this champion, guys. Not to brag or anything, but like, man, when I'm on this champion, I feel invincible right now, especially because he's such a strong pick. Uh, but when he's not even in the meta, I can whip him out and just perform really well on him as well. Lilia. Uh, I'm, I'm super sad to do this, guys, but I love this champion so much, but she's just in such a bad spot right now. I wouldn't recommend one-tricking her just because... 
you're gonna be setting yourself so far behind you can play a champion like evelyn fiddle kane kazakh's lee sin and do so much better than you would ever do with lilia she is very rewarding when you get good at her guys but like you're just putting yourself so far behind because she's in such a weak spot master yi such a simple kit such a noob champion you barely see a master Yi played at all at high ranks unless there's some like you know funnel yi strat that's going on that's the only time you'll ever see him at high ranks and you know if you really want to climb up to diamond playing master Yi, playing a predictable champion like this uh, i don't think is the best way guys i definitely think that you should be playing something a little bit more sophisticated and harder to predict so that you could get more like insane plays off <clears throat> consistently mordekaiser no need to talk about that morgana uh, she was very good for, a, you know, a certain amount of time, but they did nerf her a bunch. I'm just going to say she's along the C tier. She's kind of stinky. Not really the best. Nidalee. Okay, so Nidalee is a definite S tier. And, you know, a lot of Nidalee maids may not agree with me here, but I'm going to say this. Nidalee is one of these champions, guys, that you can play 100 games on and you're still not going to be playing her well. She is that hard to learn. But when you get really good at her and you watch people like Tarzan play this champion, it is clear that they can make this champion look so broken when other cha people play this champion and they just look, com look like complete noobs. If you can master this champion, guys, if she fits your playstyle and you can master her, there is not a doubt in my mind you'll hit very high ranks. But that is extremely difficult to do because she is so mechanically intensive and there's so much about her that is just so hard to do. So, yeah. Nocturne. Super easy to learn. I literally first time this guy in a diamond rank game, guys, and I went 15 and 3. So, I'm going to say, when it comes to one-tricking, he's not like, oh yeah, you have to one-trick this champion and climb really high. You can literally play this champion for the first time in ranked and probably do well because he's so broken right now. Uh, I'm going to say he's like a B tier to one-trick uh, to climb with, if that's your goal. Nunu. Uh, this one's a little bit more interesting. Mm. I'm going to say Nunu's also B tier. I don't think he's very sophisticated by any means, but there are certain things about his kit that like you want to learn through like, practice and experience on the champion. But once you get it down, you can probably get it down in like five to six games if you're like actually studying and looking at all of his tips and tricks videos and like kind of looking to understand him. Maybe watch my guide video on him. You know, you'll, you'll get the hang of him pretty quickly. Uh, so nothing too crazy there. Olaf, uh, I'm gonna say C tier. He is very simple as well. The only thing with Wolof that you need to know is you need to know when you can go in and when you can't go in. He's that simple. <laughs> After that, you just need to land your fucking uh, axes, and it's pretty straightforward, guys. I Just don't overthrow your axes and know when to go in. That's, like, the main thing with Olaf. The only slightly sophisticated concept with Olaf is knowing how to juggle your axes, like throwing them very short distances, picking them up, throwing them again kind of thing. That's probably the most sophisticated thing about the champion. Um, yeah, very easy to play. <clears throat> Okay, so, Poppy, uh, very simple as well. I'm going to say C tier. She is very good in certain matchups. Like, I'd say she's actually pretty good against Kha'Zix and Lee Sin, champions like that, uh, that are very good, but she's super easy to play, guys. Pretty much anyone can pick her up. Ramus, same old. That was Rek'Sai. That is Ramus. Same old, same old. Rek'Sai. So, Rek'Sai is an interesting one. Also, pretty simple to play. I'm going to put Rek'Sai as a B tier just because I think Rek'Sai is very, very strong right now. You guys should be playing her more. If you aren't, uh, a lot of potential there, but you do have to kind of know what you're doing. Uh, so I think B tier is very fair with Rek'Sai. Now, Rengar. Hmm. Rengar is awesome when you're one-tricking him, guys. Just knowing how to go in, assassinate, get out. Uh, knowing how to use your W efficiently to get out of CC. I'm going to say an A tier pick. Definitely not S tier. I don't think Rengar is super good in the meta by any means, but like very rewarding to play. Once you get very good at him, you can definitely climb very, very well. So Juani, very simple to play. C tier. Set. Let's not talk about him, Shen. Let's not talk about him, Shivana. In a bad spot. Skarner. Ah, so bad right now. Udyr. So this one's very interesting. I do think that Udyr is pretty uh, pretty rewarding to get good at. I will say that he's probably like a B tier. Uh, you look at ch players like Trick2G. They always make Udyr work no matter what the meta is because there's so many different ways that you can play the champion. I do think that uh, he's a pretty rewarding champion to play. And once you get good at him, you can definitely climb no matter what the meta looks like. So very fun. Trash. Talia. Now, this one's actually very interesting. So, Talia actually has a very, very high win rate, guys, but she's played very rarely. I'm going to say that she's actually an S tier because not enough people play this champion, man. Like, she needs to be one tricked more. She is so rewarded when you get good at her and you can land your skill shots consistently, but that's not easy to do. So, it does require a decent amount of practice and play time to get there. Um, and once you get your full combos going and you know how to use your alt properly to zone people and all that stuff, you can definitely climb fast with Talia. Next up, Trundle. Very simple to play. I will say that Trundle is very good right now, guys. I'm going to put him here. 
but he's like a super basic kit right very similar to all these other guys here like you can learn trundle like two to three games very easily vi same thing that's all i bear vi is the same thing there uh very easy to learn but uh very i think she's like she does have some slight intricacies like learning the flash q uh or q flash rather uh you have to time it perfectly it's not easy to do um and just cc chaining with your alt <laughs> very well um that kind of stuff uh not not the easiest to do but you could learn it very quick uh warwick hmm very basic champion concept not very hard to learn it uh, i think he's very uh, beginner friendly i will say that there are some things here and there like learning to auto cancel with your q and stuff like that but that's very easy to do if you play this game uh a decent amount now volley bear hmm, this one's interesting i think he's also here simple champion design simple kit he's decent right now i will say he's not a bad jungler whatsoever but uh pretty straightforward uh, i think wukong belongs in the b tier learning the combo officially on wukong can be a challenge sometimes uh but once you get the hang of it it's all very easy pickings from there you just need to learn to know, you just need to know when to go in when not to go in that kind of stuff zinzu also b tier uh he is very strong right now for obvious reasons i would say that his win rate has dropped a d decent amount after the nerfs though uh so we probably won't be seeing him as much but i think good zin Zhao players can still make him work uh up until like probably high diamond until like he's a little bit too predictable and players kind of know what to do zach i think zach is one of those tanks that actually is worth one tricking uh he has amazing ganking potential and he is just very very good at finding angles that other junglers can't and if you know the range of his e and you know like all the different intricacies about zach's kit then you're gonna be pretty set and i don't need to talk about your guys he's just a trash tier jungler <laughs> let's not go over that but that is gonna be the tier list for today guys really let me know what you guys think once again go easy on me guys it's all opinion based everyone's gonna have different opinions i get it but please drop a like and sub to the video and join our discord link in description to join the conversation and let me know your thoughts about today's video uh but yeah that's gonna be the end of today's video guys i appreciate every single last one of you and i will see you all in the next video peace out